Hey, there we are. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Let me make sure that that is not doing what I want it to do. So let's do that. Oh, yeah, that's doing what I want it to do right there. Good morning, everybody. Vicky, Vicky, you won. <laughs> you dethroned Joe. Good morning to you, Vicky. Good morning to everyone. Oop, let me take that off of there. How you doing this morning? I am back. Took uh, last, most of last week as a little bit of a vacation. Went out and visited with the other grand and took the local grand with us. So I had both my girls there. It was fantastic. George, hey, good morning to you. Abby, good morning. Hey, thanks everybody for being here. I have a soapbox topic today that I can't, I'm, I'm having a really hard time waiting to get out, but but I'm I'm going to. I'm going to do my, my regular stuff here. Thank you for being here. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, leave a little comment down there. Let me know that you were here. And if you're watching or listening, rather, on iTunes, Stitcher, or any of those, uh, be sure to head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. Join us on Facebook Live. All right, now that all that's out of the way, here's the topic for the day. It is up to you. There you go. That's it. Y'all have it. Okay. I, I need to explain more. If you don't believe in yourself, who's going to? That's really what I want you to, to take away from today. If you don't believe in you, then who's going to? Are you waiting for somebody to come say, here is your self-confidence? No, it's self-confidence. It's mine. It comes from me. Don't ask me why I'm on this topic. But look. Be confident in yourself. George can tell you, you can't negotiate something from a position of weakness. Well, I, you know, I, I, th I really, I, I think this might be the best way to go. No, not going to work. As George Bush would say, not going to do it. <laughs> it, that's not it. People want to deal with other people that are confident in where they are and what they're doing and what they're saying. And especially here, it, you know, for those of us that grew up in the South, it's really bad. I said, I told somebody the other day, my grandmother would slap me in the back of the head if she heard me say some of the things I say, because we're supposed to be polite and just saying, no, that's wrong. is <laughs> not polite. But be confident. Be, be so confident that you're almost arrogant. And, and I'm going to push this. I, this always seems to come back around to baseball. This fellow used to play for Atlanta, Chipper Jones. He did an article in Sports Illustrated in his uh, rookie year, first year, second year, something like that. And he talked about this attitude that he had that he calls Necessary arrogance. Necessary arrogance is that emotional state where as you are walking up to the plate, you believe. You don't think you're not going to try. Maybe I can this time. You believe that you're going to hit a home run off of this guy who just struck you out the last two times at bat. That is necessary arrogance. And that is what people want from you. You want to find success. You want people to believe in you and follow you. Be confident. It's up to you. Believe in yourself. State with affirmity. Is that a word? State with confidence what you know to be true. Now, I've said this a couple of times and I get a little bit of pushback. What if it's not true? Then fix it later. I mean, as I sit here today, I believe that it's sunny outside. But if I go outside and look back this way and see big storm clouds coming, well, I have to update my observations, don't I? All right, and this is, this is one of the, the, the essences of leadership. I mean, think about it for a minute. In the history of mankind, we have taken up, Literally, 
taken up sticks and rocks to repel um, attacking armies or to overthrow oppressive leaders. Sticks and rocks. Who got people to do that? I mean, if you're familiar with uh, the Battle of Thermopylae that was forever immortalized in uh, the movie 300, King Leonidas gets 300 guys to stand up against the entire Persian army, which was made up of, you know, a, a lot of a lot of people. I think it's almost a million people. The point is, way vastly outnumbered. Why? Because they believed. And because they believed, they were able to hold off that invading army for a couple of days. And it wasn't, in fact, until they were um, betrayed that they were defeated. All right, at any rate, don't betray yourself. Be confident in yourself. That's it. That's the message today. It's up to you. Believe in yourself. State with affirmity what you know to be true, and then move forward. People will follow you. Try it. Just try it for a day. If you have any doubts, just try it. No, that's not the right way to do that. You should do it this way. Oh, okay. It's funny. I promise you. Hey, today is Tuesday, as it turns out. That means it's radio show day. That's coming up at uh, about 54 minutes or so. Uh, so be sure and tune into that on either over the air, WTKI at 1450 AM, 929 FM, WTKIRadio.com, or find me on Facebook, Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. All of those places are fabulous places to watch and consume the show. Thank you so much for being here. Vicki, congratulations for knocking Joe off the throne. Good job. I will be back here again in the morning. As long as, uh, what is it, the rains don't come and the creeks don't rise or something like that, I'll be here. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.